Welcome to this edition of Burn Tech University presented by United States Stove Company. In today's video we will show you how to replace or install a 40256 shaker frame and a 40257 shaker grate. This video works for furnace models 1300, 1500, 1537, 1557, and 22AF. Always refer to your owner's manual. This video is for informational purposes only. If you are unsure about replacing any of the components on this stove, we recommend having a qualified stove technician or certified electrician do this for you. To start your project, make sure your furnace is completely cool and then remove the power cord from the wall. First, open the door by swinging the handle to the left and pulling the door to the right. In order to easily get into the interior of the furnace, first you have to remove the smoke curtain, which is held on by two hooks hanging it behind the furnace door. Loosen the bolts holding the hooks in place. Then, gently slide the hook out of place and lower the smoke curtain. To be able to remove the shaker grates and shaker frames, First, you have to remove the front and back liners. The front liner is located below the furnace door. First, remove the two fire bricks adjacent to it and then slide the liner out and up. Remember to put your fire brick back in place. The back liner is located behind the last set of fire bricks. First, remove the two fire bricks adjacent to the back liner, like you did for the front liner. Now carefully slot it out of place and out of the furnace. Again, remember to put your fire brick back in place. Now to remove your shaker frames and shaker grates, first open the ash pan door. They are located above the ash pan. To remove them, simply slide them towards you and then out of the furnace. Do the same thing for your second set. To be able to replace either piece, first you need to separate them. Pull the shaker grates out of the shaker frames by sliding them out of the grooves that hold them in place. Now grab either your new shaker grate or your new shaker frame and place the pieces together. They slide together easily as pictured now. Once these two pieces are put together, slide it into the furnace through the ash pan door. Make sure when sliding the set in that the long narrow end of the grate is facing you. The shaker grate will not work properly if it is put in backwards. Make sure to push the first set all the way to the back. Now repeat the process, making sure to push this set until it slides together and attaches with the first one. They should meet and connect together in the middle. Before closing the ash pan door, grab your shaker handle, attach it, and make sure that both shaker grates are able to move. Now you can close your ash pan door and lock it with the handle. Now to put your front liner back, move the adjacent fire bricks out of place, then slide your front liner into place. Then remember to put your fire brick back. Repeat the process for the back liner. Then reattach your smoke curtain by gently sliding the hooks into the slots. And then tighten the bolts to hold them securely in place. You have now successfully replaced the shaker grates and shaker frames on your furnace. To finish the project, simply close the door and secure it with the handle. Your furnace is now ready to be plugged back in and operate. Once again, this video is for informational purposes only. We strongly recommend that a qualified stove technician or a certified electrician do this for you. Please note that the 40256 shaker frame and the 40257 shaker grate each only come with one. If you need to replace both, you will need to order two for each. If you have any further questions pertaining to this project or any other, Visit usstove.com or call us at 1-800-750-2723. Thank you for watching Burn Tech University.